Hi everyone, welcome to another Mama Elephant intro video. This is Rena, and today we're going to be making two cards with two new products that will be available for the April 15th release. So there's a new agenda set. It is Mermaiden Agenda. It is super cute. I can't wait to play with it. And also there's a new cover die called the Scales Cover, and it makes these beautiful scallop shapes that pair perfectly with the mermaid theme. I will be using Copic markers to color in my mermaid images today and I just refilled all my markers and I am Copic marker happy right now. So I'm doing three different sort of color themes for my mermaids and if you know me, you know that I love using all of the stamps that I can in a new stamp set. So there are 20 mermaid images that come in the set. And I will be using every single one of them for two cards. So I'm going to be using three different color themes, a purple brown color theme, a dark blue green color theme, as well as a gray black color theme. And these mermaids came out darker than I was envisioning in my mind. <laughs> so um, I decided to do a super light background to balance that out and I really liked the look. This is my first time using the Nina 110 paper, and I'm in love. I love this paper. Um, I thought I would treat myself, and I just, I'm so enamored with it. <laughs> and I'm using that with the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I'm really loving this paper ink combination. So for most of these mermaids, I'm doing either two markers. I think with the purple color theme, I did three. And for the black and gray color theme, I did three. And then for the blue green, I only did two markers because I didn't have that third marker. And I'm just making sure that I'm keeping my color theme the same and not color, like adding additional colors. So I just didn't want to add any outside colors. So some of like the heart, I would normally color red, but I didn't want to introduce red <laughs> to my color palette. So I just made it the blue green color. Um, sometimes I will. I have been known to color things not the right color just for the sake of keeping my color palette pure but I'm totally okay with that now I thought they look kind of drab so I'm adding tons of blush so here is that scales cover dye it's really beautiful um, it has these pierced scallops in them and it looks really nice when you ink over it lightly because it enhances those scallops. So here I'm using Tumbled Glass and Mermaid Lagoon, and I always forget to use Tumbled Glass. It's such a beautiful color. I think I fall in love with the Distress Oxide colors every time I use a new color. But here I have that um, grid die. Um, it's from an older release. And I'm just lightly, barely touching it with the ink because I didn't want it to be white, but I wanted it to contrast with my mermaids and be a light color because my mermaids did turn out darker than what I was envisioning. But I did like this sort of combination of the light ink um, as their background. So I was cleaning my craft room and I came upon this shimmer spray from Heidi Swap and it's a very opaque, gold shimmery color and I thought gold would be really nice with the mermaid so I did spray my scales cover dye with it and I really liked the look of it unfortunately you can't really see it on camera but in person it looks really really nice I always like to give my projects dimension so I'm double stacking this grid dye and that'll be where my mermaids will live. And I just glued that and I put something heavy on top. And then I'm gonna take that after it dries and adhere it to my scales cover. So the part that peeks out has that scale detail. And I think it makes a really nice background for these little mermaids. And now I'm just placing them on each of the little grids. And I'm just making sure that they're just facing different ways and that they're looking at each other um, as best I can. I'm also adhering those two middle mermaids as far apart as I can because I'm going to stamp a tiny little sentiment from the birthday messages stamp set, which was last month's release. I'm stamping that out in the Mermaid Lagoon ink and then I'm also clear 
heat embossing it just so it's a little bit shiny and it has it stands out a little bit more I'm using the sentiment strip die from last month to cut that out I did want it to make it as small as possible so it fit in the middle and I inked it up a little bit so it wasn't stark white and I put that on foam tape in the middle I'll be finishing off the card using these little bubble embellishments and I really like breaking those out for little underwater scenes because they look like the perfect little bubbles. I will have pictures in the end of the completed cards. So let's start with the second card. I'm using the Distress Oxide inks in Dusty, Concord, and Milled Lavender. And I did cut out that scales cover die again because I really liked pairing that with the mermaids. And I'm using Bristle Smooth cardstock here, and it is so easy to ink blend the oxides on the Bristle Smooth paper because the ink stays really wet, and you have a long time to blend your colors together and make it just look seamless. I'm white heat embossing my sentiment from an older stamp set. This is from the Mermaid Kisses stamp set. And this says, the world is your oyster, you're the pearl. I thought that went perfect with the mermaids. And I'm... I want them to be in an oval shape, so I did take one of the smaller dies from the oval scallop frames from a recent release. I'm just holding it down, putting it in the middle, and then I'm going to adhere my mermaids all around that little frame. And I'm making sure that when I adhere my mermaids that I'm making it touch that frame as much as I can, just so when I take out the frame that I'm using as a guide, that it really does look like the mermaids are in that oval shape. So I did use eight mermaids for this and it the spacing came out perfect. So that's what it looks like. I did spray it with that Heidi Swap gold spray. You can also use some gold metallic ink to splatter. And then my little bubble embellishments. And that's it for that card, super easy. And then I'm gonna put it on a card base. I hope you like the cards I made using the Little Mermaiden agenda as well as the scales cover die. Don't forget to stop by tomorrow for two more product reveals. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and happy crafting. Bye guys.